welcome back again for week two of our Christmas cookie preparations. I have another great friend of mine that's here today. You know, it's nice to um, have friends that like things to do like you like to do, like get together with somebody that likes to bake. You can talk for hours. And that's Stephanie and me. When we get together, we always talk cakes or how, what kind of icing or what kind of cookies. And her son got married a few months back. And I'll tell you what, they had the most beautiful wedding just a lovely wedding, lots of people, everybody having fun, and the most beautiful cookies. So I said, Steph, you think you could come and show us how to make some of those for my viewers at Christmas time? And she said, I'd be happy to. So we're gonna meet her in just a minute. Let me show you something real quick. This is what she does, and I thought this is a good, good hint. She buys pizza boxes. Now, you don't wanna use the one that you had the pepperoni and sausage pizza in. No, 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 that's not good. You can buy clean, brand new pizza boxes. She lines them with plastic wrap that goes, extends out over the edges, and then she puts her layers. Isn't that great? Put your cookies in there. If you're gonna put two layers, they're a thin cookie, put a piece of wax paper in between. When you get the cookies in there, then just fold this back up and over, put it, you know, seal it up really well, and then she even marks on the top what kind of a cookie it is. Isn't this great? Look how nice these would stack in a freezer. That is brilliant. I'm doing that this time because this is easy to do and I love it. Well, we're going to get started with today's cookies and meet my dear friend Stephanie in just a minute. Here's today's at home hint. Here's today's at home hint. Refrigerator cookie dough can be made a week or more ahead. Shape into a smooth roll, wrapped in wax paper and frozen until needed. Thaw and bake as the recipe instructs. If you have an at home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, like I told you, I want to introduce you to my dear friend Stephanie Tedesco. Stephanie, I'm glad you're here. Hi, thanks for having me. Arlene. Yeah, we're glad you're here because your cookies were so good at Jeff's uh, wedding. I'm telling you, they were just awesome. Mm. And everybody's was because you had a big variety there. Yes, there was a lot. There was a lot of cookies. And they were all delicious. And you look beautiful in the bride and everything. It was really a nice wedding. Now, I've asked you to show us a bunch of different cookies. So again, stay with us because this is uh, fast. First, I ask you about the lemon bars because they were, they were just like a, honestly, they were like taking a, a, a slice of lemon meringue pie. Would you, wouldn't you say that? I think so. I that think lemon's that's, that's so the strong, taste huh? without having a whole Piece of pie piece of to pie. eat. Right. right. Okay, so this has like a crust. Yes. Tell me about this crust. Okay, this crust, it's a simple crust. It's two cups of all purpose flour, half a cup of powdered sugar, and one cup of butter or margarine, or you can mix. I mix one stick of butter, one stick of margarine to give it more. It's like a shortbread, oh, is what okay. it is. And then you, you just, bake this? You bake that for 15 to 20 minutes on okay, a 350. Did you use oven. the. Um, the mixer to mix this up or can I you do it with your hands? I or? mixed it by hand. Oh, okay. And I like to do it. Just press it in? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Just press it in, prick the um, edges, of it, edges sure. of it with a with a fork, come up the sides of your pan a little bit to hold the filling. Okay, and you bake it? It's a 350 Four, and it's 15 minutes? to 20 minutes depending. You don't want it to get too brown because you're going to put your filling on and put it back and in the oven. Again. Okay. Right. All right, show us the filling now. Okay, the filling's really, this is an easy dessert. I love you it. You have four eggs. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to beat the eggs until it's okay. a little bit. Just to mix them up a little bit. A little bit frothy. Mm -hmm. Kind of a light lemon color. Well, and you know what, this helps to keep the, the filling together too, doesn't it? Right. Like when it goes onto the crust. It kind of gives you your creamy uh, lemon custard kind of sure. filling. Stephanie not just bakes cookies, but she like bakes the most beautiful wedding cakes and other kind of cakes. She's an awesome baker. She really is. And we're going to give you her number if you're in the area and you need some holiday uh, baked goods. She, you want to definitely take her number down. Now to this, we're going to add gradually two cups of granulated sugar. Okay, two cups. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time or in just like a nice little slow stream. stream. Okay. Keep mixing. If you have a, you know. Okay. If you want to do it a little, like a quarter of a cup at a time. However, it's it's a forgiving recipe. Sure. It lets you do That's whatever. That's kind of I like one. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, because when you bake for, and you're doing for a, a big occasion, you don't have time to be, no, you, you know, redoing them if That's they don't exactly turn out. Right. And this always turns out. And the smell too, when you have good lemon, fresh lemon, and fresh lemon juice lemons. is wonderful. Fresh lemons. Okay. Now, if, if sometimes the lemons aren't real juicy, and you have to substitute a little bit of a like reconstituted okay. lemon. But that juice. works too. It does. Okay. It does. It just, just not as well. On, huh? 
depends on what you like. Okay. Now we've got a little bit, they're getting thick. They're a little bit. Yeah, um, I can see they are getting thick just since you've incorporated color. that. Now I'm going to add six tablespoons of lemon juice. That's lemon. about the juice from two lemons. Okay. And that's fresh squeezed, right? Fresh squeezed. But like I said, if you need to add a little bit, if you don't get as much out of okay. your lemons. Good. I had to put it in two containers. That's all right. So that's six tablespoons. Six tablespoons. Okay, and now? Okay, now to that. Okay. Do we have a? Yeah, we can. We need a spatula or something? We're gonna fold in. Okay. Can you use this big one? Is that I okay? I guess so, we can. Okay. Sure. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold in a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon, okay. And we also have four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So you didn't combine those, you just do them separately, I do which them, is okay. Yeah. Yeah, and why would you not beat that in? Why would you fold it in instead? I would think to keep to give it more of a lighter, okay. so you don't break down the eggs. Eggs, okay. But All you right. can just mix it. You don't even have to really. You can just mix it real okay, gently, huh? Gently. Now, do you keep the temperature of the oven on the same uh, degree as when you bake the crust? Yes, you do. Three fifty. Okay. While she's folding that in, let me give you the information about where you can contact her if you'd like to have. Christmas cookies, uh, uh, maybe a special occasion cake, maybe, you know, we've always told you, how about a happy birthday Jesus cake on, on your um, holiday table, which would be great. You can call mm -hmm. her at 412-751-6578. And that's in the Pittsburgh area. And I know that you're not gonna be disappointed and she just does fabulous and she's good priced and everything is quality and beautiful. And um, I'm just happy that just leave that down there. That's like good. It. Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna pour this in there. I'm gonna put it over the crust. Okay. See, nice and smooth. Beautiful. And you want to make sure it gets into all the corners, huh? Yeah. No, no lemon rind in it, though, huh? No lemon rind. No lemon rind. Okay. I think it makes it a little bit bitter. I think that's sometimes what the rind does do that. Certain you're things. Right. Yeah. Especially okay. You want to pop that in the oven? We're gonna pop and it I'm back gonna, in the oven. Okay. She's, we're getting her acquainted with our kitchen, and she's finding out which oven's which, and you pick the right one. <laughs> and how long does that bake, Steph? This is going to bake about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And then okay. I check on it to see, make sure that it's just a light golden brown on okay. the top, that it's not getting too dark. Okay. Now the next one she's going to do while she's setting the timer, um, I don't know if you're like me, but I like those little cheesecake tassies. And she, hers are really, really good. Excellent. And... Uh, Maybe while you start to get, get that filling ready, we can talk through. These pans are wonderful. I don't know if any of you have them. You know how the little tea tassie pans that hold, you know, just like one dozen? These hold two dozen. And these are fabulous. They're made by Wilton, but we can't find them anymore. So just keep looking out. Maybe on maybe their website would have them. We don't know. But okay. it makes a lot of them. But you put a vanilla wafer in the bottom, right? Right. I okay, show us wafer. how you do that. Because she just doesn't take a big one like this and put it in because look how that doesn't fit right. Doesn't fit well, see? So what do you, show us what you do. All I do is I take a paring knife. You pair it, oh, in a circle. In a circle, go around my circle. Like about as big as a quarter, huh? And try to get it about the same size as the tassie look pan. Look at that. And it's, it's a little messy. I save the crumbs. And what do you do with them? You can make, like, instead of a graham cracker crust, you can make ah. a vanilla wafer crust. See, that's a true businesswoman, always crush thinking them of down ways. And... Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. Let me do one of you these while do you one start of your. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Step back, I'm operating. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you got this nice knife that does oh, this too. Oh, it's tough. wonderful because it's curved. Curved, yeah. I beat, I have, I've already beaten okay. two eight ounce cream cheese. All right. Um, I don't like the low fat, light, no. because it has right. a tendency to get watery. Right. To that, I beat it until it's smooth. I add two thirds of a cup of sugar. Two thirds cup of okay. sugar. And I make sure that make it's sure all it's together. Right. Because once you're done with this, when I add the eggs, I just want the eggs to be enough that they're incorporated into the batter, Not but beat, I don't want to beat, beat them. Beat. Yeah, I I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla, okay, that's good. And? And then I have, th how many eggs? That looks three? like three on this one, yes. Three eggs. Do you do them all at once or just some at a time? I do one at a time. Okay, now, once you, you're going to spoon that into this, these yes. cups. And are they, you make them clear the top or just? Three-fourths of the way full. Three-fourths, okay. And then you're going to bake these for how long? Then we bake them 15 for 15 minutes. minutes. At you 350? do not at 350. Okay. 
You do not want them to get brown on the top. Right. But I want to scrape my bowl down just to make sure all the cream sure. cheese is in there. And the have sugar. to do that. And then I'm just going to talk them through okay. while you're doing that. And then you bring them out. Do you have to let them cool before you put the cherries on top? I do. I let them cool for about five or six minutes in the pan. In the pan. And okay. I, I try to always use the foil mm -hmm. pan yeah. tassies. Look how nice you cups. line them with the foil cups. Get those at any cake or candy supply place. And then they cool and they do sink in the middle. And then she just takes the cherry pie filling. And how much do you put on each one? One or two. Whatever or two. whatever it fits on the top. And you don't have to totally cover the top, right? No, no, you don't. It's it's something that whatever you feel, whatever you, you like. like. Sure. You can use other things also. You can use pineapple or pineapple, whatever, blueberry. Lemon, blueberry. I made blueberry and cherry for the wedding, is okay. what I did. Now, Steph, these should be refrigerated though, right? Yes, I keep how them long? refrigerated. A couple uh, weeks? A couple weeks they'll stay in the but refrigerator. They don't freeze well. No. They, so you they don't do not want to freeze. Do these frozen, okay? You want to make them like a week before Christmas so you have them, you have them the week after, but don't freeze them because they really don't. Thank We're going to take a break. When we come back, she's got a whole lot more. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. We're in the At Home kitchen today and we are doing Christmas cookies. My friend Stephanie's here and she's, oh, we've already got two batches in the oven. We have wonderful lemon bars and our cheesecake tassies. Right. And they're both cooking. And now the next one is Texas sheet cake, but it's got a twist. Go ahead, let's show them how to make the Texas sheet cake. Okay, you take two cups of granulated sugar. Okay. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two and two, easy to do. Very easy. Okay. You're going to mix them Low just speed. like that. Just Fine, mix the huh? two together. Okay. Now what are we okay. going to add? Okay. Now we are going to add our teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. This is a okay. great versatile cookie. I've, I've made this... Texas sheet cake a lot of times because it, it does give you so many options, doesn't it? It does. It really does. You can decorate them. You can do what yeah. nuts, whatever you want. Tell me what's in here now. This is a cup of margarine. Okay. One cup of water. Okay. Four tablespoons of cocoa, like cocoa. Hershey's cocoa powder. Okay. And you bring it just to a boil. To a boil. I have to do that. All right. And then you're going to pour that, it in here. I'm just going to pour it into here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I remember doing that. Nice big bowl, deep bowl. We don't have anybody wearing it. Don't forget now, if you need to get some cookies for the holidays, you don't have time, or you need a cake for a special occasion, Stephanie has a business. I'll take that. Right. We're going to use that again. Okay. And, um, and her phone number, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, is 412-751-6578, and it's there on the screen. And you're just mixing that now very gently, aren't you? Just trying to get everything incorporated into now, it. Now, if that's come to a boil, that's hot, and you're putting that in the flour, you're going to add some eggs to this? I'm going to add eggs, but I'm going to add sour cream also, and I'm going to add the sour cream first. Because that's going to cool it down, exactly. right? Exactly. I was worried about you getting scrambled eggs. Chocolate yes. scrambled eggs just doesn't do it for me. Yes, Not on you Christmas would have. or any other time. No way. You would have scrambled eggs, I would believe think so, me. yeah. It's just one of those things that you learn by doing when right. you do it the wrong that's way. Absolutely. Okay, now, and that's just a what, half, half pint? A cup. Or half, half cup. Half a cup. Okay. Of sour cream. Okay. I'll do that. I'll be the spinner. How's that? Spinner. That's great. Huh. I knew I was here for some reason. I couldn't figure out, but now I know. Yeah. Now, I'm so excited because these are all great hints, great ideas. Of, uh, and then I have two eggs. Two eggs. Two whole eggs. I'm just getting you started to think about what we can do for Christmas for the cookies. And, you know, kids love to get involved, don't they? They do. Kids, that's, I, how, that's how I learned. Yeah, Because exactly. my mother allowed me in the kitchen with her. Now, what about your boys? My boys, I also, they, I like them to be in the kitchen, but they like to be there when everything's done. Oh, yeah, they, they like to eat. sample and eat. I know. They want to eat. Well, that's typical men. You know, they come when the work's done, and then they want to enjoy. Then they want to eat. Yeah. Okay. Is that done? It's pretty much, ba basically, it's done. Okay. And then you have just taken, what, a jelly roll pan? 11 by 15. Okay. Jelly roll pan. Oh, that's nice. And you, you can um, either spray it a little bit, or if you use a nonstick pan, you're good. Okay. To go with that. Now this is going to go into a 350 degree? 350. 
Three, well, 350 or 375, whichever. It'll work at both, I'm it sure. It works at both. You just have to bake it a little bit longer. Longer. Especially if you're making more than, like, we're doing today with a lot more, of cookies. Lot of cookies sure. If you use that. And about how many minutes for this? It's probably going to take about 20 minutes at the 350. Okay. It might only take 15 That's if it's a, at 375, but I can't. Yeah, I don't no, yeah. want to change the temperature of the well, oven. Well, and you know what else? Um, everybody's oven is a little different, so you want to be careful. You know, if it calls for 15, I always put 12 on my timer, and then I check it. Right. When that dings at 12, then I think, I have a few more minutes. Do I need them or don't I? Instead of going the whole 15 and you really don't need it, it's better to do it that way. Oh, look at those cheesecakes in there, too. It smells like Christmas in this place today. Wish you could be here with us. Because we need dishwashers. Any volunteers? No, no. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. All right. Come on, Steph. Now I'm anxious. Okay. What are we doing next? And you're going to also make a, a um, icing for that when it comes out. Right. Right. Because you're going to ice it cold. Okay. But let's okay. do the, the other cookie. The other one is an orange cookie, and it's a drop cookie. Okay. It's a... Um, fresh it, orange in it? Fresh orange in it. Yum. We have a cup, a of, cup Crisco. of Crisco. Yeah. You really can use whatever kind you want, but Crisco is the best, don't you think? I try to stick with yeah. the name brands. Okay. I do that with everything. But that's all up, up to you if that's what you're mm -hmm. used to using. Some people, yeah. Okay, and you're just going to cream that mm -hmm. until it's light and fluffy. Right. It shouldn't take too long. No, it shouldn't take okay. too long at all. To help it along a little bit, I'm going to add the eggs. Okay, is that two eggs? Two whole eggs. Do you use grade A large yes, egg? Yes, I do. That's what I always do. Too. I always tell you, use a large egg unless yes. it specifies different in your recipe. Right. And, and I have to tell you that your idea of that pizza box is so incredible. <laughs> I, I think it's just, I think it's wonderful. They That's, stack real well. They do. Okay. I, and you can even like mark them on the edge of the box. So as you stack them, you can see orange cookies, yeah, Texas sheet cake squares. Here comes the, you know, I mean, whatever. That's such a great idea. While this is creaming, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt, okay. I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, baking powder. And it doesn't matter whether you add it to your dry ingredients and put right. it in, as long as you're beating it up. Okay, we've got two minutes here. A little bit of what's that? And that's baking soda. Soda, okay. Okay. I love iced orange cookies. They're so fresh. Could you do I've been wondering. I, I haven't done it myself. Good. What's that? That's the grated orange rind off of two oranges. Two oranges. Okay. Could you make this with lemons? I've never Have tried you, it. You know what? That's been bugging in my brain to do I that. I am going to so. try that one of these days. Because why couldn't it's a, you? It's a basic cake kind of batter. Right. Why couldn't you try it? Okay. And what's that? Okay. And this is my orange juice. Orange juice. Fresh squeezed. It's the juice of two, two oranges, oranges, which comes out to be about a half a cup. A cup. Okay. Just going to add that slowly. Okay. We thank gonna, you so much, we Stephanie. I love that orange fragrance <laughs> following me everywhere I go. See, I told you I was going to Thank you so much. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, we're in the kitchen. Who cares? Okay. okay. Then I have two. I have a cup of buttermilk. Oh, buttermilk or buttermilk sour milk. Or right? sour milk. I like the buttermilk. It seems to make a better, okay. better cookie. And what we're going to do is we're going to alternate flour? four and a half cups can of flour. Yes, you can. How much of this? Oh, about half of it. We'll okay. Work. More. Keep going. You know what? While we'll we're do it together. This, okay. While we're putting this together, we're going to take a break. When we come back. We're going to show you the finished product and even tell you some of the other things about these cookies we've done today. We'll be right back. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Now, Stephanie, I know we made the Texas sheet cake, and down there you can see she's cut them into squares, but you decorate them to make them special. Show us how to do this little, it's a poinsettia, right? Yes. It's so pretty. Okay, how Just do we do it? Your decorating bag with okay. a leaf tip. You put leaf. your little leaf. Okay. Just one little leaf. You take your red icing with a leaf tip, a smaller one. Smaller leaf tip, because this is going to make the... Uh, that makes your petals. Of your poinsettia. You just, Just directional, huh? Round and round. And layer after layer. You can make them as big or as little as you want, I guess, huh? As many layers as you want. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to look what you like you want it to look, you just stop. You put your little... The little centers. Centers. Oh, look at that. Is that neat? And it's done. It's done. You could even do that on a cupcake if you had to. Cupcakes. Okay, let's take a little 
trip around the table. First, there's the lemon bars that she made that with the fresh lemon juice and the grated lemon peel. They are so delicate. Do they have to be refrigerated? No, I don't refrigerate no. those. Okay. Next to them are the iced orange cookies. That's what they're going to look like. You can do them plain or she's got some little non perils on there. You can do that with all red or all green sugar. You can do it with Jimmy's on there, whatever you want. Decorate the way you like. Next to that is our Texas sheet cake squares, which she's just decorated with the poinsettia, which is beautiful. And last but certainly not least, here are the cheesecake tassies with the orange. Don't they look absolutely beautiful in the foil cups up on a pedestal. If you've got some pretty dishes, this is the way you're going to display it. Also, remember that uh, most of these can be frozen. They freeze well. Get those pizza boxes. If you happen to know a guy that owns a pizza company or a pizza shop, get on the best terms with him. I'm sure he'll let you have some boxes. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank it's been you such for a having pleasure. me. It's been so good. And remember, if you need cookies for the holidays, Stephanie's the one you want to call. So be sure to take down that number, okay? There it is, 412-751-6578. And I hope that you've uh, got some good ideas for the holiday. So be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you here at home. We'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.